Hey y'all, Katie back here with another OnlyFans video. Today is going to be another um, requested topic video from uh, the questions that I asked as far as like what topics you guys want to hear about. Um, so it's kind of like a three-parter. It's not like the exact same thing three-part wise, but it is three good questions that I'm going to be answering here. So the first question is... Um, how do I batch PPV personally? The second question was, how do you gain interest in the DMs? Which I thought was very, very um, good. Something that I personally haven't talked about. And then the third one was content ideas. So I'm going to be going over those three things in my personal business in hopes it helps you and gives you an idea on where you want to take your OnlyFans content. Before I get started, I will mention I have a coaching page. I'm going to link it down below. And then I'll also put the guide that got me to the top 0.1% down below. Check it out. So, hi, Moto. That's one of my, that's one of my four babies. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do, so I know I mentioned them in, you know, one, two, three, but I'm going to do them in a different order. First thing I'm going to talk about is content ideas. I have made a video on this. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on content ideas, but I do want to briefly just overview of some things that I personally do when it comes to my content. So I do solo and I do boy girl. Um, for my solo, some of my most popular content is squirting. Um, so it's squirting with regular masturbation. It's squirting from a toy, it's squirting from a dildo. I do regular fingering for my solo. I love how I'm just naming these things so nonchalant, like it doesn't even cross my mind to like speak this out loud. That's when you know you're conditioned. Um, uh, for solo also, a real good one is JOI, which is jerk off instruction. Um, basically, like you could suck a dildo or you could do a hand job on a dildo or you could just be there naked instructing your subscriber your guy on you know like the pace of how they're supposed to get off and when they are to get off and when they are to finish um that's a big turn on and popular with guys i also like to do stripping for my solo i find that like if i'm personally on my period and there's something that i want to produce but i can't produce obviously masturbation or boy girl because i'm on my period then stripping works really well you can strip down to your panties and bra. It doesn't have to be, you know, you can keep like, of course, if you have like a tampon and you can keep your undies on um, and just take off your bra. All right, y'all, on to boy girl. So what I do for boy girl, obviously, is the standard sex tape. Um, within my sex tapes, usually I don't keep just like one position. I like to change it up. Um, I like to do like several point of views. So for my sex tapes, I usually do like doggy. I'll do riding, missionary on top, down below, side by side, off the edge of the bed, whatever you can do to mix it up. The more the merrier. I personally can only do a couple of different positions right now, especially after giving birth. Um, but if you are an Olympic athlete and can think of more and can do more crazy shit, more power to you. I feel like that would sell even better. So um, there's also blowjobs and hand jobs. That's basically all I do for boy girl. I keep it pretty simple. Um, if another person, my partner, is involved, then um, it usually sells pretty well, no matter what it is, if it's boy girl. So that is what I do there. Um, the other question was, how do you batch PPVs? So when this question was asked, I'm not sure if she meant that, um, like, how do you record so that it's batched all together, like make the content, or if you mean like batch it together, then send it out in groups. Um, but I just, I'm going to address both. So usually when I do PPV, I only do one PPV at a time, like one main video. It usually ranges anywhere from five to 15 minutes, whether that's solo or boy girl. And I create them one at a time. So there isn't a day that I stay like pick a side and I do like a bunch of content. I more so do my videos like, I don't want to say like last minute, but on the whim. So like if I feel like doing a video, that's when I do it. I don't wake up that day typically and say like, oh, I'm going to do this video today or this video tomorrow. I usually just 
go with the flow, listen to my body, and if I'm in a mood, that's when I end up creating the video. Now, as far as batching, um, when you send out your PPVs, uh, some people don't do, some girls don't do this, but I personally do do this. So sometimes I give out deals within the DMs where I batch videos and photos, more so videos together. Um, sometimes I'll say, uh, here's 10 videos worth a thousand dollars for just ten dollars and I'll batch together some short videos ranging from five seconds to 30 seconds um, so I'll give them 10 videos for ten dollars and I'll caption it obviously this is a thousand dollars worth of content is it a thousand dollars worth of content probably not compared to like my regular pricing but it's enticing that they're going to get a deal which it is a deal um, you kind of just over express that deal um, and, you know, make it, what's it called? Blow it out of proportion, per se. When people think they're getting a deal, they're going to want to buy more. What are you doing, like, though? So, that is what I do as far as, like, batching little clips. There are times where I'll batch clips together of my earlier days of OnlyFans, and I call this my barely legal porn. So I'll attach like 15 to 20 videos that are short, once again, 15 seconds-ish, um, and I'll attach it and say, this is my porn from when I was barely legal, um, before I started OnlyFans or in the beginning of my OnlyFans journey when I was 18, and I'll batch those together and I'll send them out for a deal. And they seem to do really, really well. All right, sorry for pausing this video so much. I am. I was helping my fiance with our son, so back to it again. Um, so the third topic that I wanted to tackle in this video is um, how to gain attraction in the DMs. And I feel like this is a really good topic because I don't think I've ever personally touched on this. Um, and gaining traction in the DMs without being overwhelming is definitely very, very helpful. It's very beneficial. It's a necessity when you want to succeed in your business to get, you know, your subscribers interacting. And so here's just a couple ways that I do it. So obviously there's the, you know, mass message you send out where you pose a question like, hey, how was your day? Um, typically what I'll do when I'm speaking to, when I want to be in the inbox and I want to sit there and I want to have full on conversations, um, I'll send out, hey, how was your day? But I'll only send it to the people who are active online in my subscriber list. That way, when people log in that aren't online or weren't online presently, they don't have a bunch of messages from me saying, hey, how are you? Hey, did you see this? Did you see that? So it's not like they log in and then their history chat message from me is a bunch of questions because that just doesn't look as personal. And so... I try to keep my messaging with those who are currently online and you will see like when you go to send your mass message you can see like who is active online and you can select that list and send it to only your subscribers who are currently active online and so that is what i do as far as responding or getting like a response um quicker because obviously if they're not online only fans at least as I know it, does not have a thing where you get notified when someone messages you. And so like they have to actually log on the site. It's not like Instagram or Facebook where a notification gets sent to their phone. And so I just um, target talking to people who are online then and there. So um, another good thing to do, in my opinion, is after you're like logging out, let's say like you're sitting down for an hour messaging people, um, after you're done messaging people, just go ahead and delete that mass message you sent out saying, hey, how are you? Um, what this does is it doesn't seem as spammy. So like when people go to open up future messages that you sent, if they haven't responded, like I said, they're not going to have a slew of messages from you saying, hey, what's up? Did you buy this? How are you? How was your day? Can you answer? All that kind of stuff. So my recommendation is to only send messages to start conversations with people who are online then and there and then before you log out um, just go ahead and delete that mass message that way people who didn't want to answer are not bothered by it and um it doesn't keep like racking up on their conversation line when you do go to send 
Um, so that's like the obvious is to ask a question when it comes to getting attention and people to answer in the DMs. Another thing that I have personally done that works really well is if I send out a PPV and I say the first 10 people to reply to this message get a you know free photo or free pussy pic upon unlocking the PPV. So I usually get a high response rate at this and it usually happens pretty quickly because when you set a limit of like the first five people or the first 10 people to answer back this message and you have a lot of subscribers, then people are going to immediately answer back or unlock or have a sense of urgency to be one of the first ones to respond to get their free gift. And so you don't even have to send out a PVV. It can be like the first 10 people, just like in text, the first 10 people to respond to this message, get a free exclusive titty pic. Um, that way you're not giving anything away that you don't give away on the wall. If you do titty pics on the wall, I personally do. Um, but you can also give a titty pic away that is exclusive to the inbox and not posted on your wall. So it's not like you're giving a pussy pic away, which for free, which people normally pay for. Um, you're just giving normal tits away and you're not, you know, and you're also making it unique because it's not a photo that you've posted on the wall. So that is a really good way to get um, a high response rate. Another thing that I've done before is kind of like form a scenario. Um, mass message I've sent out before is like, imagine you just get off from work and you come home and I'm sitting there in my panties and underwear and I ask you what's for dinner. Um, something like that scenario wise, just send that out. And a lot of people like replying to that stuff. You'd be surprised like this fantasy that people get when it comes to a sexting and it comes to role playing. Um, I've always seen great responses within that. So that's pretty much it. One thing more I can think of too that I've done is I'll have like an outfit on, like a certain lingerie outfit or a nude and I'll message them the picture and say, hey, like, how do you like this outfit? I wanted to get your opinion. Or, hey, what do you think of my tits? Do they look good today? Um, would they like, wouldn't they look good in your face? Wouldn't they look good with your ding dong between my tits? Something like that. Um, I try, sometimes I really do try to keep it like humorous and sexual at the same time I try to kind of mix it up because I'm not a very serious person um and I feel like that is a big quality that my subscribers personally latch on to is my mixture of like humor and like lightheartedness but sexy and seriousness at the same time so whatever it may be that you're trying to interact with your subscribers make sure that you always show your personality that's very very important and um, only do things that are natural to you. So these are all suggestions that I can give you as far as like how to communicate and engage with your subscribers. But if you don't feel comfortable doing it or it just isn't you, it doesn't fit your mold, then don't do it. So those are just a couple of the ways that I get my subscribers to interact through the DMs um, along with content ideas and how I batch PPVs. So Hope you enjoyed this video it was like i said three random parts but answered one of um, y'all's questions that i feel like it could benefit a few more of you and even me for gathering my thoughts together and you know saying this so i hope you're doing well i'll be back very soon with another only fans video if you think of anything more um like always leave it below if you have any questions I keep continuously adding to the list of video topics from you guys' questions and I really appreciate them. So we'll talk soon. Have a great day. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.